And now to a story we have been following. The 10 schools shut down by the Kwara State Government in February over the issue of wearing of hijab by Muslim students have resumed academic activities, but the controversy persists. Plus TV Africa went on a fact-finding mission, even as the state government says it is gradually achieving its aim. The dispute between the two parties started after students wearing hijab were disallowed entry into Baptist school Suruliri by some protesting Christians, an action which came after the Kwara State Government reopened the ten schools. The schools built by different Christian denominations had received grants by the state government in 1974. However, the Christian body says the schools were taken over by the government and have not been returned to them ever since. The state government thereafter gave the Muslims approval to wear their hijabs in the schools, and other the Christians blatantly refused to accept. Our Christian counterparts refused bluntly to give peace a chance by permitting the Muslim students to wear hijab, which is part of their own normal dress. All effort to convince them that this hijab is not offensive to the religious sensibility of our Christian brothers and sisters fell to the deaf ear. The Christians made it unequivocally clear that they don't want the use of hijab in our school. And we advanced our reasons. We said it will not be good now. If you put hijab on Muslim girls and the Christians were not wearing hijab, you expose our own to danger. Because the bandits and the kidnappers, when they go to school, they will kidnap our children. This led to an altercation between the Muslims and Christians and a clash that saw the two parties throwing objects at each other. This action left properties destroyed and people injured. What we do not want in Eloni, the capital of the state of Amoni, is crisis that will lead to a kind of a bloody or violent situation in this. The Muslims just came, they besieged and bombarded our schools and began to stone people, injured people with various degrees of, of injury. Although things are back to normal in the state, both parties are still insisting that their demands are met. The chief press secretary to the Kwara state government, Radius Ajakaye, appealed to both parties to remain calm and allow the issue to be handled appropriately by the state government. Our own take as a government is to appeal to all of our people to please uh, give peace a chance. Now the chief imam and chairman of the governing council, Kwara State College of Arabic and Islamic Studies, appealed to the Christian faithful to let peace reign. Also, the Vice President of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Kwara State Chapter, Reverend Sunday Adewale, urged the Muslims and the state government to come together to fight for a greater cause and not for what he termed as unnecessary. In the same vein, a public affairs analyst, Sunday Timothy, condemned the attack on the Christian community, calling for unity despite religious differences. We use the same markets, we use the same hospitals, so, why will it be difficult for us to use the same school where there won't be any discrimination? I want to appeal to all parties to please maintain decency, to please be tolerant, to please handle this issue with care because the religious issue in Nigeria is very, very germane and we must be careful in doing it. Otherwise, we will set up, uh, set up the state in fire. Christian and Muslim didn't come together to fight people that embezzled should be money. We didn't do that. We don't have good rules, we don't have so many things. We didn't fight the government for that, we are fighting because of hijab. Whether Muslims, whether Christians, they are all quarrels. So the government will rather continue to engage, which is what we've been doing. Meanwhile, the Kwara State Police Command said that no church or office was vandalized or shops looted by protesters in the Inloran metropolis. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.